Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use Blender Animations or Dennis's plugin to import motion capture data and anim animations uh, into your Roblox rig. Right now I'm just going to be using the rig sample place that Dennis provided because uh, we don't really need to use anything else. You can make your own rigs if you want, uh, but we'll just use this for now. So uh, we're going to be using Mixamo and it actually has a pretty specific way for how you're supposed to map out the joints. And uh, this follows it pretty well. So if we see here in the upper torso, we want the humanoid root part, or sorry, lower torso. We want the humanoid root part to connect to the lower torso, and then you want the lower torso to connect to the upper torso. And then obviously the arms are going to connect to the lower arms and whatnot. So yeah, we want to follow that. And we're going to go into Blender Animations. Actually, we're going to set this guy's position to 000. zero, zero. There we go. Makes it nice and clean. So, Blender Animations. And uh, also, you can also, uh, this is a handy plugin, which is Custom Character Creator. So you can actually use it to change the weld positions or pivot points on your rig. So this is useful for making your own rigs and uh, building your own characters. So as you see, if we just go into edit here, you can see where all the pivot points are at, which is actually pretty good right now. So so yeah, this is a pretty handy plugin. Just wanted to show you it real quick. Okay, so. Back to Blender Animations. We're gonna select this rig, and this rig has to has, ha, has to have a uh, a primary part. So we have that set to humanoid root part by default, and we're going to go to export. Uh, just go to Blender Animations. I'm just gonna name this test rig. It can be whatever, but and then I already have Blender opened. And uh, this is a separate tutorial that shows you how to set up Dennis's plugin, both in Blender and in Roblox. Uh, this tutorial isn't really isn't really going to go over that, so you can go watch that if you want. So I'm going to go to Import Model Test Rig, and here's our guy. So then we go to Rebuild Rig. Okay, so now that we have our uh, guy in here, and he's built and has uh, armature data. We're going to go to File, Export as FBX. And let's just call this testrig.fbx. And we're going to go to Mixamo. And I already have an account here, but if you don't have an account, make an account and go to Store. And then you're going to want to go to Upload. And then you're going to want to uh, get your FBX that you just uploaded. So this is t uh, test rig. This is the dot obj. Be careful of this. We want the fbx. So it's going to process for a second. And if it's, if it's all correct, it should just work. We might have to do a little extra mapping. Let's see. Okay, so make this my current character, and then we're going to go into my assets and my characters and edit mapping just to make sure it's all mapped correctly. So yeah, here's the root joint of the, ske of the skeleton, which is going to be, uh, let's just set this to lower torso. And then the waist is set to the upper torso, set the neck. There's no neck. Set the head to the head. Okay. And then all of this is correct. So, usually it doesn't mess up on this. Fade to left lower leg. Yep. Okay. So, we go to done. And let's go to our rig and then go to find animations and a good test animation I like to use is the MMA kick. 
uses most of the joints, so it's just a good animation to use. Let's just go to add to my assets and view. And uh, let's go to Q download. Let's go to uh, without skin and then Q download. Download it. I'm just going to save this in the same folder that I was using before. So now we're going to want to go back into Blender into our uh, into our rig here that's built, and down here you're going, you're going to set either location and rotation or lock rot location or just rotation. Uh, obviously, if you just choose for location, then it's not going to rotate your rig. Uh, if you just choose rotation, then the animation is going to affect just this rotation, not not any of the bones. Uh, position. So let's just go to location and rotation. And let's go to import FBX. MMA kick. This is going to take a few seconds. So now we can see that the animation is imported. So now to export this back into uh, Roblox, just go to export animation. Let's go to our guy and paste it. There we go. Now we have our imported animation from Mixamo. So then we can upload this or do whatever. So as as you see, I I've been playing around with this quite a bit. So I'm just gonna copy this. Sometimes this happens when you close out of the plugin. I just want to click this again. And let's go to Animation Editor, choose our guy, go to Import, and we only want the ID. And there you have it. So as you can see, this, this really opens up a lot of new doors, and what Dennis did here is, is very cool. And yeah, 